for Action News, I'm Anna Dulosky. The Environmental Working Group is at it again. The group is now promoting their new database of more than 80,000 food items, rating them on nutrition, pesticide residue, added sugars, you name it. If there's an ingredient to dis, they're on it. Except there are several problems with their rating system. See, the group assumes the presence of any traces of synthetic pesticides makes the food unhealthy, a stance that has absolutely no scientific backing. They diss the presence of additives like food dyes, all of which must pass the safety tests before they can be used anyway. Then they don't assess the presence of pesticides permitted under the National Organic Program, and there are many. Worse yet, the group informs consumers of GMO ingredients, a finding that means absolutely nothing when it comes to human health. Actress Dr. Ruth Kava explains. What they're doing is they're trying to control what people eat, which I think is reprehensible. They've got this huge database, 80,000 food items, and they put in the nutritional information, which you can already get from the Nutrition Facts label. But in addition to that, they try and tell you which foods or ingredients are healthful and which are not and they rate them on a scale of like one to five or something like that. And the problem is that this is all sort of a front for the organic industry, I think. And what they'll do is they'll tell you, well, this food has these preservatives. Now, preservatives and food dyes have been through rigorous safety tests, so there's no problem with them. But EWG makes it look like they, they are. They also will tell you which foods have quote-unquote pesticide residues, which everybody's going to be very worried about. So you may still be getting some pesticide residues, even in organic food, but nobody seems to know how much, what they are, what kind of threat they might or might not pose. Not that any of these pesticide residues, which are present at very low levels, are really a threat. Then they go into things like what foods have added sugars? And this is also sugars you can tell from the nutrition fact labels. So I am not sure what the utility of this huge database is. Obviously, they must have spent a long time on it. They're getting ready to make a mobile app out of it. But I don't see the real value of it. I think it's a misdirection. It's telling people that foods are or are not healthful based on misinformation and disinformation. And they've done this in the past. They did it with cosmetics. They said, oh my God, there are chemicals in these cosmetics. Well, of course there's chemicals in these cosmetics. Everything is made up of chemicals. And the kinds of warnings that they put out are basically fear-mongering, in my opinion. So while this probably represents a lot of years of work for them, I hope that people will see through it and not be dictated by EWG. To read more on this story and others, you can head to our website, aksha.org. And while you're there, don't forget to also sign up for your daily dose of news delivered straight to your inbox. For Action News, I'm Anna Dulosky.